Look at you, little buddy. How cute is that? Remember this yeah. one? Yeah. This is looking so freaking cool. Hey, good morning, everybody. How's your day today? I hope that it's going absolutely incredible. As for me, I'm just hanging out with this little leopard gecko here, which is really beautiful. And I've done a lot of things on leopard geckos in the past, but the one thing I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit is what's the difference between a $20 leopard gecko and a $500 leopard gecko. With a $500 leopard gecko, are you getting a better leopard gecko or something? So we're gonna go ahead and dove into that a little bit and show you some amazing leopard geckos and talk a little bit about them. I hope that you guys will enjoy it and I hope that we can have an amazing day together. Let's just push all our problems aside and just focus on this cute, adorable little face right here for the next 12 or 15 minutes. Go ahead in the comments and let me know if you like leopard geckos and what's your favorite morph of leopard gecko if you have one. If not, hopefully you will find one in this vlog. And while you're down there, can you smash that like button for me? Let's go ahead and get gecko crazy. Before we jump into value and all those other things about leopard geckos, let's just go ahead and talk about what a leopard gecko is. Of course, this is a sub-adult leopard gecko right here. This is about 40 grams right now. They'll essentially get about 75 to 80 grams. So if you can imagine, they're gonna get about twice the size as far as body weight goes, but not that much longer than this animal. So if you're looking for a pet reptile, I mean, this is a perfect animal. It doesn't get very big. You can see it's super chill. They're super tame. Now, these guys are actually from the Pakistan and India area, and they're obviously desert dwelling animals and also nocturnal which means that your care for them is a little easier and why is that you might ask is because you don't need expensive UVB lights because these guys spend all of their daytime in caves and basically just come out at night but with that being said they definitely need vitamins and nutrition because they don't get their natural vitamins from the Sun so it's very important to dust your crickets or supplement your food in some way Way so that they're getting enough vitamins. Now we use a multivitamin and a calcium supplement and we mix actually three parts of multivitamin to every one part of calcium. That makes it so that they don't get something that's called MBD, which is metabolic bone disease. That is something you don't want your pet leopard gecko to have for sure. Other than that, they're absolutely easy animals. Keep a hot spot of about 90 to 95 degrees. Cool side can be 78 to 82. They need a nice little moist hiding spot. We use Reptile Prime and as a matter of fact, we have a brand new Reptile Prime product coming out that is perfect for the leopard gecko hides. I'm going to tell you more about that in the next couple days. Now that we've got the boring stuff over about how awesome leopard geckos is, what's the difference between a $20 leopard gecko and a $500 leopard gecko? So this little dude right here is basically what you would find out in the wilds of leopard geckoville. And it's basically just a normal leopard gecko. And these guys are absolutely gorgeous. And back when I was young, this was basically the only leopard gecko you could get. Now, not a lot of people even bred them, and even hatching one was a pretty awesome feat. And these guys were really sought after because they're such great pet animals. But the truth is, is that now they're being produced by the thousands, and even hundreds of thousands, to be totally honest with you here in America. We produce about six to 8,000 babies per year. Now, most of the ones we produce are a little bit more of a designer animal, but the truth is, is that a leopard gecko, whoo, where are you going, little buddy? The truth is, a leopard gecko is a leopard gecko is a leopard gecko. I mean, they're all the exact same animals, but these normal ones, just like this little monkey right here, is only about $20 to $30 as a baby. So they're a very inexpensive pet. And now when pet shops all across the country, you can typically find something just like my little buddy right here, and you can get them really inexpensively. And they're really great animals. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some higher end animals. And the truth is, is they're the exact same animal, 100%. Same care, the same everything. The only difference is they're a little bit rare and the paint job is a little different. One of the things that make leopard geckos so absolutely amazing is that there's kind of all levels. There's the entry level that's $20 or $30 and that there's really leopard geckos that sell for thousands of dollars. That's right, thousands of dollars. And we work with some of them, but basically our high-end leopard gecko at the moment here is about $500 or something like that. But this animal here, which is actually a Max Snow 
bell albino possible eclipse you know this animal right here would be about a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars and you can see it looks a little bit different than the normal I showed you but it's the same exact animal I mean it's got the same care it's got the same mentality it's super cute and adorable it's just got a little bit of a different paint job to it and that's just the genetics on it now I've talked about leopard gecko ad nauseum in the vlog at times so I will link a couple things down in the description if you're interested in the genetics behind it so maybe some of the lingo that I am speaking right now. You'd be like, what are you talking about, Brian? What is a Max Snow or what is a Bell Albino? You can go ahead and watch those videos and you can learn a little bit about it because today I'm really talking about the value of the animals in the sense that what's the difference and what makes an animal worth $150 as opposed to $20. But just because the price changes doesn't mean that the animal is any different or the care of the animal is any different. It just means that if you want something that's a little bit more rare, you have to pay a little bit more for it. Let's go ahead and look at say a dog for instance if you want a mixed breed from the pound you might have to pay a little bit for an adoption fee but if you want a really high-end purebred it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars sometimes even tens of thousands of dollars now I'm not saying that that pure breed ten thousand dollar dog is better than that mixed breed that you got from the pound in some cases it's the opposite but when it comes to reptiles people are typically wanting to buy these kind of rare cool things for a number of reasons number one they might just really love the way they look they might go oh look at you little buddy how cute is that? It's okay, little buddy. They might buy them because they just love the color. They could say, oh my God, the color, the pattern. It's worth me spending the extra money because I love that animal and that color so much. They might buy it because they want to breed it and they say, hey, if it's more expensive now, I breed it, I'm going to sell the babies for more than $20. So in the way they're looking at it is a way to return on investment. Although I don't want to get into that whole thing in this vlog here. And lastly, there are the people that just want something rare. They're like, oh my God, I want something that no one else has or very few people have. This particular animal right here is what they call a total eclipse, which is a super snow, white and yellow, and an eclipse. So those genes mixed together are really amazing. The white and yellow really kind of brightens this guy up a little bit because typically if you took the white and yellow away, this would be almost a black animal or a freckly black animal with little white splotches on him, which makes it really cool. But you add that white and yellow gene in it and it kind of fades it all out and you just have that really subtle freckling down it. What a gorgeous little monkey. Now a similar animal genetically kind of would be this one right here which is what they call a super raptor. Now the raptors are actually the tremper albino eclipse animals. Just like the total eclipse that obviously had the eclipse gene in it. This one is the same genetically but it has the tremper albino which makes it a raptor and then this also has the super snow. Now both the total eclipse and the super raptor are about $500. That's right. So the difference between this animal and that normal I showed you before is the difference between $20, $30, and $500. But I don't want you guys to think that that animal really is a better animal than the $20 animal. It's just that it's rare. It's harder to produce and the value goes up because it's in higher demand and that there's less of them out there if that makes any sense. But if you want to get a leopard gecko, you get whatever you want. You want to spend $20, bucks, you are going to have a great animal. You want to spend $2,000, you could have a great animal. Whatever you need. And again, that's what makes leopard geckos so absolutely amazing is that you can get anything that you want. You can be the entry first pet ever or you can be someone that's been keeping reptiles for 25 years and say I am going for the rarest leopard gecko out there. That's what makes them amazing. They're super easy to care for and they're super fun and there are so many different levels to get into them. And that really comes down to rarity and how hard it is to produce something. When you have a normal leopard gecko it's not that terribly difficult to make more normal leopard geckos because you just put two normals together and all all the babies are going to pop out normal. But when you want to make something like this dark Max Snow bold stripe here, it takes a handful of generations because the Max Snow is co-dominant, the bold stripe is something that's polygenic, and then this kind of dark look to it is something that comes over years of breeding as well. So something like this may have taken five or six years to produce, and there's not that many of them out there as opposed to the normals that are easy to produce only take about a year to produce, and you can produce as many as you possibly want, whereas an animal like this you might only produce one or two per season. So, of course, the supply to the demand, the price changes. Eric, 
All right, so now I'm doing a show on leopard geckos and the difference between a normal leopard gecko and something that's really expensive. So I wanted to ask you, because I know you work with leopard geckos a lot, Jessica, what is your favorite leopard gecko? Do you have a favorite? That's a really hard question. We only, there's so much to choose from. What do you <laughs> choose? What do you pick? <laughs> you're like me. You're One like in 5,000. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what's funny? We're pretty close to it. I even marked the cage cool. Get out of here, really? That's Check not... this one out. Just, <laughs> just, just so I can find it easier. You know what I mean? Well, he definitely likes that one if he marked it cool. Yeah, I think it's some kind of bell or some kind of albino. I don't know what the heck oh, it man. is. Look at those eyes on that thing. Oh, it's it's God. almost kind of creepy looking. Oh my gosh. But, yeah. uh, and you know what that is? That is actually, yeah, it's a bell albino eclipse, which would be called actually a radar. Because the trempers are actually called raptors, the bell albinos are called radars. Oh my gosh, that thing is freaking cool as could be. Thanks, sir. Yep, no Thanks, worries. Sir. Get them. No. Speedy, get them. Speedy, get them. Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> no, just let him bite your foot. Just let him bite your foot. Just get him. Go get him, Speedy. Get him, Speedy. Get him, Speedy. I don't want to get bit by a tortoise. <laughs> Probably hurt. <laughs> Let's ask Jessica, the gecko master, if she has one of her favorite geckos. Jessica, do you have a favorite gecko? I don't. You well, don't? <laughs> of course not. It's just like there me. Are no just one's so good. many of them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, how can I choose? The one that I wanted to show is next door in hibernation. So I'll show oh, some okay. of his babies. Okay, all right, cool. So so obviously one of the geckos that Jessica really likes is sleeping right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I remember this yeah. one. This is looking so freaking cool. Now, is this one of the ones that you were asking if we could name it? Yes. Okay, yep. yeah, yeah. I don't think we ever got a name for that, did we? Did we ever end up picking one? We never did. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to comment down below again, uh, we last time we asked you guys to help us name this kind of new morph. This is it right here. You can see it's super dark and has some really great bold patterning. So go ahead down in the comments. This time we will really try to take your suggestions and come up with a name so that when we produce a bunch of these guys, we can actually name it whatever you guys think. And then you can have bragging rights. What in the heck is that? This is a bell super snow. That's a bell. Oh, super snow. Mm -hmm. oh Look at those gosh. red eyes. Exactly. Oh my gosh. And again, that's the thing about the bells really compared to the trempers is their eyes are just so much more ruby red. That thing is crazy cool. I love it. This is all my favorites right here. <laughs> <laughs> this whole rack. We'll have to jump into that rack at some time and show you some of those ones. So that's awesome. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah. All right. While we're at it, we might as well ask Lori what her favorite gecko is and see what she has to say. What did you choose? She's hiding it. It's like a big reveal. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, it's a super snow, huh? Yes. I don't know why, I just, these guys are my favorites. Every year I see them, I just think they're super cool, the black and the white and the spots. And I've said this before, actually super snows are one of my favorites too, so you stole my, my favorite. Now what am I gonna do? Please, pick one of your other million favorites. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do agree. I, there's something about the super snow. Just that, that combination between black and white and just that really cool pattern with a little bit of striping on it. And they are pretty variable. I mean, some have a lot more speckling, some have less speckling. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys a little later those really Dalmatian-y ones that I really love too. But uh, it's kind of the same thing, that super snow thing. So that's awesome. These guys usually have little white feet too. So it looks like they got little white socks on a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, is, it is absolutely cute. Here's one of those animals I was talking about. My kind of Dalmatian animals, much like the super snows that Lori loves so much. This is really a similar animal. It's just got the white and yellow gene. And sometimes the white and yellow gene will really wipe out all of the black dots as well. But in some cases, they stay like this. I've hatched out some really cool Dalmatian geckos this year. And as a matter of fact, Lori and Jessica sold my favorite one up. But nevertheless, they redeemed themselves by handing me a handful of ones that were almost as good absolutely beautiful animals like this and I tell you what out of all the leopard geckos I work with and I love them all I still just have a special place in my heart for these guys here I just think they're absolutely incredible and I hope you guys do too you know I'm always curious like what is too much to pay for a pet you got to remember I'm an animal guy so to me I would pay anything for something that I love I don't care if I have to pay ten thousand dollars for something that I think is amazing but at the same time I think that some animals that are free or almost nothing are really amazing too. So I try not to really think of animals as dollar bills, if that makes any sense to you. This is a really beautiful bold bell. And that's another animal that I really love as far as leopard geckos because the bell albinos to me are kind of the brightest
Aedes albinos, and then that bold striping on it just makes it absolutely incredible. But I want to know from you guys, down in the comments, what's the most you've ever paid for any pet animal you've had, or breeder, or whatever the case may be, and what do you think is kind of the high end that you ever would in the future? I'm just always curious to think what you guys are thinking. And with that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I think I'm going to let you guys discuss down in the comments what you think about a $20 gecko as opposed to a $500 gecko. Is it worth it? Just let me know what you guys think. I am always curious to hear what you guys have to say, and I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog on it. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys mean the world to me, and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors, please? Can you smash that like button as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone today, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.